Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters my today's video is Mecca Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Quran in the 6th and the 7th centuries proofs follow proof number 1 the remnants of the residence of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Hazrat Khadija radhiyallahu ta'ala anha in Mecca is still visited by the Muslims every day. It is older than the 6th century itself besides all other evidences. These remnants prove the existence of Mecca, presence of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the Quran's revelation in the 6th century AD. It also proves that Mecca and the Kaaba are older than the time the non-Muslims may guess. It proves the authenticity of another great ingredient of Islam, that is Hadith. Proof number two. The verses number two to six of the Surah are wrong prove the Quran's existence in 613 to 624 of the Christian era. In the second decade of the 7th century AD, the armies of the Eastern Roman Empire had been defeated by the Persians in all the territories near Arabia. In 613 AD, Jerusalem and Damascus fell and Egypt fell in the following year. The Persian army invaded Anatolia in 615 or 616 AD just six or seven years before the Hijra, when the Surah ar room was revealed in Mecca. The verse number two and three of this Surah describe the said Persian invasion of the Roman territory as like as an onlooker. The Romans have been defeated in the nearer land. Three prophecies were pronounced in verse number three to four. Verse number three, and they, after their defeat, will be victorious. For within ten years, Allah is the command in the former case and in the latter. And in that day, believers will rejoice. The first and the second prophecies came to just in the ninth year, in 624 AD. When the Roman army defeated the Persians and entered the Persian territory. And the third prophecy of the verses, and in that day believers will rejoice, came true in the same year when the Muslims defeated the Arab pagan and rejoiced at Badr. All three historical events happened within the ten years proclaimed in the verse number 4. These historical events and the Quran's pronouncements happened concomitantly and side by side. It proves that the Surah was revealed in 615 to 16 and the whole Quran was revealed in the time span of the second and the third decades that is in the first quarter of the 7th century AD. The Romans have been defeated in the nearer land. This part of the verses also proves that the Quran and the Prophet and its people were outside the Roman territory at that time. This too this proves the complications created by the West about the ruined city of Petra. Petra was at that time the capital of the Roman province of Petra and the Muslims were beyond its borderline in Arabia. The people who defiantly challenge these truths are either insensible or mentally sick. Proof number three.
The incidents of the Battle of Trains proves the presence of Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in 627 AD. It is widely decried by the non-Muslims. They refer to the Banu Quraysh killing as an evidence of the Prophet's cruelty. We do not agree with them on the so-called cruelty, but we are sorry for the disarray state of mind. They refer to 627 as the year of Prophet's cruelty to the Banu Quraysh, while they reject his existence in that year. What a terrible kind of madness! Anyway, the actual history says that the incidents of the trains battle happened in the year of 627 AD, and all the anti-Islamic people witness for the Banu Quraysh killing. So the Prophet was present in Medina in 627 AD. How could it happen? If Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not present on the same date in the same place, yes, Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was present in 627 AD. Nobody can truthfully deny it.